Okay, so in here is our holding tank. I have to go under here with a flashlight and look at the tank and see how high it is. So it's high enough we need a pump out. So I don't think I've ever made a pump out video, so we're going to make one. So at the marina, I got a box with a hose in it. Maybe some of you have never seen a pump out video. So this end of the hose gets plugged into this. And then there's a banjo valve here. We turn that to open that up. It starts sucking. And there's another valve here. Yeah, want to be careful because you don't know if the last person cleaned it. You're supposed to rinse it when you're done, but you never know. So there's a valve there. Then there's another fitting here, and there's nothing on the end, so I gotta go borrow the proper fitting. So, this is at the fuel dock, so they have their own hose. Same setup at our dock, and they don't have a fitting either because apparently people steal them. And that way when they go cruising they'll have one. So we gotta go in and borrow one. Good morning. Good. Can I use a uh, fitting for the pump out? I got this one there. <coughs> Put you, it onto the hose. Yeah, do you have a screw on one or no? Yeah. So I mean if you don't mind. No, I don't mind. It'd just be easier for me. And I don't have to stand there and hold it. Before. Yeah, I like those, um, but you gotta keep pushing no, down no, on them. I've gotten it to where it's strong enough suction, it's, it holds it in place. Alright. It Yeah, I think it does as long as there's stuff in the hose. Once it yeah. stops, it kind of... Uh, inch and a half on us, right? That's it. Thank you, sir. Oh, so they had the uh, silicone the soft universal one that you just push in to the hole and hold it but I don't like that one as much because uh, you have to stand there and push if it loses suction it starts sucking air and it can make a mess so this one's a little bit easier okay so this is our port access port here so you gotta unscrew this Don't lose that. And then this. Get screwed onto there. And then we bring our hose over and we'll clamp it on. We don't have to stand there and hold it. So we gotta untangle this mess because you don't want a lot of kinks in the hose. It needs to be kind of straight. You get better suction. So this is the part that clamps on at the boat. So we'll run this, see what it does. It's just a mess. So I'm gonna turn this off for a second. Okay. So. Make sure that's shut off or else it'll start sucking right away. That goes off like that. That goes in like that. That gets clamped down. When we get hooked up on the other side, we're gonna open that valve. And then this 
runs to the boat. And then this end clamps on to the fitting we just put on. Okay. So that's on. We open that so it's horizontal. And then we go back and flip the switch. And we should see some magic. Maybe we'll even see the magic coming down the pipe. So we flip this, and here it comes. See, the nice thing about that screw-in one is I don't have to stand over there and hold it. Normally there's a sight gauge, a little clear piece of pipe so you can see. And this should be out of the water so it sits more level. That way it doesn't have to pump uphill. This is the absolute worst hose. I mean, it's okay that it's clear, you can kind of see, so you know when stuff's done going through. But it's worse that it's not flexible. It's super stiff. So the other nice thing about doing it here, instead of over there, is you can take your hose, your uh, water hose, and uh, rinse it. Rinse the tank two or three times. I mean, you don't fill it all the way up, but you just get enough to kind of get in there, slush around, and uh, really clean it out. So everything's pretty much stopped. So I'm going to grab my water line, uh, take it over there, disconnect it, put some water in, and uh, kind of flush it out. Okay, pro poop tip. So leave the suction on the hose, but turn it off here. That way you still have a little bit of suction, so when you undo that, it doesn't make too much of a mess. Pro tip number two, be on the uphill side of that when you disconnect it, because you will get a few drips and runs, and it will go this way, and you don't want it going on your feet. The other tip is don't push the nozzle into the hole so you, you don't contaminate it. I'll do a couple more, but then you just put that back on. Close it. Oops. Close it all the way. Open the... Goes. Do that a couple more times till it comes up clear.
still coming out. Give it one more. So when you're done, give it a squirt of uh, bleach on the end of your hose, but don't ever use the hose that you use to bring water in. This is just our boat washing dock hose. Uh, your fresh water hose, keep that separate. But I, get a, I give it a little spray. I spray the, the nozzle. Don't spray any bleach in your holding tank. It'll kill the good bacteria. Okay, when you're done, turn off your valve here. Disconnect. Put this overboard. You gotta flip your valve open and then put it in the water and suck up about 15-20 seconds or so to get a mixture that it's all water going through the hose and no that rinses the inside close this off Raise this up and walk it back and shut it off. Put the hose away. Don't forget to return uh, the fitting to the marina or else they'll charge you a bunch of money. I give it a quick rinse, spray a little water in, and then unscrew it. Give it another quick rinse. Cap on. And tighten it down. Might as well give everything a little spray. There we go. So when I'm done, I take the waste paper basket, fill it with hot water. And then I'll, this is a NoFlex digester. I bought some of this stuff. It works good, but it's so expensive and you gotta use it every day. So then I bought some uh, Happy Camper. That stuff works good, it's still expensive. So then I bought some sodium carbonate, precarbonate, something like that. It's kind of like borax. And I mix that in, pour it down the hole. Uh, it's kind of dark in here, but this is the stuff I use sodium percarbonate. Let's see if we can get a better view of that. There it is. So, it's I guess it's the same active ingredient as all that other stuff, but it's a lot cheaper. Um, but you got to use it like almost every day a scoop. The best stuff I found was the Happy Camper. That would be like one scoop a week. Um, this stuff works good too, but you just got to use it every day and use a lot of water. Okay, this is what I need. Um, one and a half A. I think I'm going to buy one of these. That way I don't have to... Uh, Keep borrowing. <laughs> 